I did. There were more than 50 people here at Cesar Chavez Park underneath the pavilion behind me. Now it's too dark to see. But the father was saying he was just very touched with how many people showed up. Um, it's a very hard time, but just seeing everyone, he, he did smile when he looked back to see how many people were here for his daughter, Desiree Rivas. Uh, a lot of people, family, friends, and even her cheer squad were out here. We'll see if we can take a listen to what they did for her. A team right there um, at the end of this vigil having to cheer for Desiree, um, everyone around as well. We saw a lot of balloons, purple stars, silver stars, and some heart-shaped ones as well. A row of candles also laid out for Rivas. Uh, she was really a special girl who touched a lot of lives. She loved to cheer, that was her team, and she was very sweet with everyone, and we weren't able to speak with a lot of family but again we did speak with the father who right now is just heartbroken that he does not have his little girl with him and this is just what he had to say a beautiful person an amazing soul she was a cheerleader at high at caesar chavez high school she was a role model to everybody she was one of the people you wanted to be around And again, his daughter was killed in a shooting at a house party near 91st Avenue and Laura Buckeye just after midnight on Sunday. Um, the suspects are still on the loose. The father telling us that he really wants uh, to find them. So if anyone does have any information to reach out to Silent Witness, again, more than 50 people were out here. Everyone just missing their dear friend, daughter, and cheerleader. Reporting live in Phoenix, Casey Torres, Arizona's family.